What's good guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got done watching Bullet Train. Twenty twenty two, I believe it came out. Got done watching it with the lady. We really, really enjoyed it. It was so wacky and goofy from the get go. So we kind of knew what we were in for from the beginning of the movie. So as we continued the movie, I was actually wondering at some point, wait, is he is the whole movie on the train? But as we went along, it became clear what the movie was about. So it was really, really funny. It was hilarious, guys. This is going to be a spoiler review so if you haven't watched the movie and you don't know what happened leave this video right now go over to netflix give it a watch and then come back and watch my review so there's your spoiler warning so guys my favorite characters were the brothers tangerine and lemon they were too funny and i really loved them um, i think it was tangerine the tall guy like he just had such a really good presence like he's really really good i found myself you know saying to my wife I really like this character. I really like this guy. I love the way he looks. He just looked really good and he had such a charisma on the screen. I loved Lemon as well. <laughs> he was hilarious. Brad Pitt, of course. I mean, you can't say anything bad about Brad Pitt. He really carried the movie. But those two, Tangerine and Lemon, they were fantastic. They, every time they were on screen, you just knew something was about to go down. You knew you were going to have fun with the scene. And the movie looked really nice. There's, it had a really weird look to it. Not weird. Weird is not the right word i don't know what word it is but it just looked really nice but very very different it looked like it was mixing a lot of things together it was mixing like japanese type scenery but with more modern train set type scenery it just looked really nice another person that i really like the girl oh my god i love the way um lemon was given every character a character based on thomas the tank engine that was funny when he first mentioned it i was like we already knew everybody on this train was like loony <laughs> already but when he started talking about thomas the tank engine i lost it i was like is he being serious but i love the way at the end of it they tied every character to his metaphor i guess i guess it's a metaphor like the way he compared everybody to to thomas the tank engine characters made the movie even more epic the one thing i didn't like and i think the movie was over for me when i saw this and i say this not because i'm saying that i didn't like the movie it just brought such a tension based on how much i hate snakes they released a snake into this train and instead of somebody catching this snake they just let it roam oh my god and as soon as that snake landed on the floor and was moving around the train my skin my the hair on my skin stood up and i was on edge from that moment on until the snake finally did something the back of my head i was just expecting the snake to just hit somebody i was just waiting for it and i was on edge throughout throughout and they kept showing it so it's not like they let me forget they didn't let me forget that there was a snake on the train. As soon as a scene finished, well, I don't know where maybe, maybe, maybe it's wrong. Maybe I'm just making it up because of how much, how much I hate snakes. But it's like a scene finished and it will just show you the snake is moving. I'm like, oh, stop it. Yeah, guys, no, I didn't like the train. But the suspense that it added, I think for me, made the movie even more epic, you know, because from that point on, I couldn't sit still. I was just like, oh my God, the snake, where is it? Where is it? Anyway, guys, this movie was really good. I recommend it. I think you guys should give it a watch. Obviously, it's not for children. It was made by the people who made Deadpool. So that's all you need to know. They lean a lot into the gore. They lean a lot into the blood. And the kills as well are quite good. Well, good in terms of adult type movies. This is not for children. The swearing in it and all that. So this is an adult movie. Give it a watch. And I think you will enjoy it as well. Guys, let me know what you thought of the movie. Let me know what you thought of it. Did you watch it when it first came out or... Did you watch it much later like I've done? Or are you about to just give it a watch? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if the movie was really good for you. Did you enjoy it as much as we did? My wife enjoyed it as well. We were busting out laughing throughout the movie. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, comment, and I'll see you guys on my next review.